Hello, what's up? Ali here, sharing these two amazing hosts that you may want to try if you want to fix or improve your jailbreak. But before we proceed, just a courtesy to our new players, so when or why do we need to change our host? Well, if you notice that you get more errors when activating your jailbreak than usual, or you are simply not satisfied with its current success rate, then this is the time that you may want to consider changing or resetting your host. Though there are a lot of uh, great existing web hosts that you can use, and not to ignore some other great hosts, but these two are one of your best options if you want a stable and complete host. And before anyone asks, this will only work on 9.0 and below. And if you are on any jailbreakable firmware, say for example 5.05, 6.72, 7.02, or 7.55, you may also use this as well. And at the end of this video, I will also share what I think is the best host that you can use if you want the best experience for your jailbroken PS4. Now let us go ahead and start with one of my early favorite hosts. And before we can do that, we have to connect to our network first. So let us go to our network settings. Set up internet connection. Use whatever connection that you are using. Choose custom. On the DNS settings, choose manual. And use this DNS whenever you have the chance. Click on next. And once you are done, let us go to our browser and reset our host. And here on the enter URL, we can use any host that we prefer. Now let us start with this amazing host. Just let it cage offline. Once you are on this part, you can simply turn off your network configuration and relaunch your browser. One of the good things of this host is that the activation rate of the jailbreak is very fast. Most of the time, it's 3 seconds and below. And another good thing on this host is that the layout is simply different to the rest of the web host that you can use. The payloads are organized very neatly. And for those who are using mods for GTA 5 and RDR2, This host simply has everything. This one also uses the latest golden version. And if you want to use the old version, just press R1 on this part. And you can choose any version that you prefer. But I will just go ahead and leave this with the latest gold hand. Now if you want for the gold hand to be loaded automatically after activating your jailbreak, just press L1. And you can set this to on. Now let us go ahead and show you another one of my favorite hosts. To do that, let us reset our host. Close window. Go to the settings. Then delete cookies and clear website data again. And use this address. This one also supports the PS3 web host. To use that, just go ahead and choose the 9.00 new. Now with regards to choosing a web host, most of the time, it all goes down to preference. Since most hosts right now supports almost everything other host has. But if you are getting errors most of the time, then you may want to try other hosts. And sometimes it is a case-to-case -case basis. Your PS4 may work better with some specific host. So if you are getting a bad experience with one host, try the other host which one will work better for your PS4. And for what I think is the best host right now, since the implementation of PS3, almost every host that uses this exploit has significantly improved. But my go-to right now is using the ESP32 S2 Mini for a USB-less jailbreak. It is now more stable and with a web host that allows us to set up the ESP device automatically and update it, it has become a lot better and more convenient. 
I will just leave a link on our description on how to use and set up this type of exploit. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, just leave them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.